Hi guys, Retro Django here. Welcome back to another Amiga episode. In this video, we're going to unbox this little box. Now, usually, usually on my channel, I am just blessed. Like all the other YouTubers, I'm getting donations, presents, review examples, um, beta test thing stuff. And I'm getting all sort of stuff sent to me. And usually when stuff like that happens, I usually get something from Messenger or a mail or something like that. And I receive it. This time I got, you know, got some different stuff. But this one, this one is my, from my dear friend from Sweden. Um, that's called Jörn, Jörn Bilena. This guy, this guy is a great, great asset for the Amiga community. So I will go ahead and say from all of us, thank you, Jan. You are just an amazing guy. And every time you send me these Amiga stuff that you're working on, I get so happy. I threw everything away, everything to the side, all the other donations and stuff like that. And this is the first box I'm opening because when Jan sends me stuff, it's interesting. It's Amiga stuff. It's new. It's usable. It's plug and play. If something is missing, he knows how I am. He includes it. <laughs> so I just love this guy. So let's just go ahead. I know you saw the thumbnail. You know what this video is called. I don't know what's inside here. This is like Christmas for me. Last time, he sent me the Spitfire 500. That's in my Amiga 500 Plus. I have reviewed it. I have made other videos in it. It costs you four, four, 40 euros on GitHub. Everything just open source, go in, build it. It's the best expansion you can do on your Amiga 500, Amiga 2000. I love that Spitfire, guys. Wow. So Jan, thank you for this, my friend, thank you. So what is this? This is... This is a connector for the disk drive. And on the other side, a USB power here. And it seems like a um, micro SD card. Okay. I'll take a closer look at it. And we have got something else here. 5 volt power from floppy port. 5 volt power. Oh wait, no, no. So this one goes into the floppy. Now, on this channel, my subscribers, you know how I am. I research nothing and I share my experience with you guys. That's how I'm doing it. So uh, yeah, so this is for the parallel port and uh, this one gets power from the five volts from the um, floppy drive, right? Beautiful stuff. And, oh man, this is great. It's Christmas in November, Maine. It's an SD box. We're gonna open this. That's for sure. Oh, this is the same. Five volt, micro SD card, great stuff. An eight gigabyte micro SD card. Great stuff. Workbench 1.3.3 DK with SD box drivers installed. This is why I just love this guy. Plug and play solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this one up first and take a closer look inside as this Beautifully printed SD box from Jan Bilena. I'm sure that he has got the GitHub up and go, ready to go. So I'm gonna link everything to GitHub so you can go in, you can watch how to build this 
make it for few bucks and, and, and enjoy it because uh, everything this guy makes is just great for the Amiga community. So let's just go ahead and open this one up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the back side here it says open source hardware. Oh man. How beautiful is this? How beautiful is this? Look at this little uh, let me see here. It's just the plugs how to Set it up and update it. SD box for Amiga Revision 2A. Two LEDs, power, micro SD card. So let's just go in and install everything and see what all this is all about, guys. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, th th this is how you, this is how you make some review examples, man. This guy is just fat formatted two gigabyte. All right, nice. This is beautiful. Let's plug everything in and see how it reacts. I have just installed it. The SD box over here, as you can see, it gets it's installed at the parallel port and it gets power from the floppy drive port. That's it. And the micro SD card is inserted. So let's just go ahead and see how this beauty works. Now, if you're thinking, why do we film in this angle? That's because I want you to see the uh, LED lights on. And also, if we have some sort of activity light down there. Now, while it's loading this uh, SD box driver disc, <laughs> I just want to say, when I made the review of the Spitfire 500, um, that's a CPU replacement over here. It has got switch for 7, 14 megahertz, 8 megabyte RAM, ID controller port, everything just built in inside your Amiga. You guys were writing to me, oh, it's on the Amiga 500 Plus. Can I use it on my Amiga 500? Can I use it on my Amiga 2000? Guys, I use it on my Amiga 500 Plus because of the two megabyte build in chip RAM. I love two megabyte chip RAM, but yes, of course you can just Use your standard Amiga 500, check the CPU off and install it in there. If you have an adapter, you can also install it in your Amiga 2000. So yes, it is possible. We don't, it's not locked only to the Amiga 500 Plus. All right, guys, this is a standard Amiga 500, just like the one you bought back in 1987. It has got the RAM expansion, so you can play Alien Breed. So one megabyte of RAM. That's it. On the screen, we have got the Workbench 1.3 disk and a RAM disk and nothing else. So let's just go in and open this disk. I am, I am, I'm looking if the, oh, there it is, mount SD card. Yes! All right, so we have mount SD card over here. This should be the drivers. I'm guessing, I'm learning while I'm showing and sharing my experience, my happiness, my excitement with you guys. Because this, if this works, it's amazing. I don't know if it's, uh, it's loaded, it's loaded. <gasps> can you see it? Yes, you can. Sandisk. So we got this over here, which is beautiful. Oh, it's loaded, it's blinking, man, from the parallel port. We got AIBB, SD box files, sysinfo, sysinfo 4.4, so. Nice. All right, all right. Okay. The Amiga does not boot from the parallel port, but, 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 you can actually, uh, make a kickstart ROM and tell the ROM to boot from the um, parallel port. So what I'm loading now is sysinfo, sysinfo 4.4 from the parallel port. It's the box files. Oh, this is the, yeah, mount file, okay. Nice, man. So let's just go ahead and see. 
it's fast, it's fine, it loads, beautiful, wow, why is this amazing, why is this amazing, that's because you can build yourself the Speed 5 500 for 40 euros, okay, then you have got CF card, build in your Amiga 500, you have all the files, you love it, but another game just got released, what do you do? Do you unscrew all the six screws and take out the card? What do you want to do? Do you use one of these when you want to, um, when you have a, a swappable a second CF cards? What do you do? No, you do this, you build one of these SD boxes and you have the SD, micro SD card here and you just take it out, put all your files you want to put into it and plug it in here and it's and it pops up here in Workbench. Isn't that just beautiful? I love this! Just for the fun of it, let's open this smaller version and see what, what it does. I just wanna make a little test. Will it crash? What will happen? So the SD card is inserted, it blinks when it loads, which is beautiful. Oh, oh, oh I love when it blinks! Beautiful stuff. Okay, okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to. Um, does this work? Oh, we have 200. Man, it's beautiful. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, what I just want to test is I'm gonna, while it's here in Workbench, take out the micro SD card and see what's gonna happen. Don't do this at home, guys. Where is the SD card? I can't locate it. There. Okay. Did you see that? The icon just... It didn't even crash. Wow, man. Great stuff. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and open this one up, install the micro SD card and see how, how this is inside. <laughs> okay. It's a much, much smaller model. Again, SD card reader here. So this is the mini version. Okay, SD box mini revision two point uh, revision two A. <laughs> That's a mini version, man. Again, it gets the uh, uh, five volt from the floppy drive, but you can also you can you can use uh, other stuff to to power it on with. The mini version. Let's go ahead and try this one out, guys. Connect it and see how it works. So, the mini version has been installed now. You can't see the light over there, but you can see the reflect there that it's on. Again, giving it 5 volts from the top drive. This is just genius. I love it, man. Small, compact. Now, the mini version is even smaller than this. Let's see how it, uh, how it performs, if it works also. Wow, man. Just for the parallel port. What a nice solution. So let's see how it, uh, how it reacts. Just make the loading error. Oh, you must have the disk inside. So my, the, the drive on this Amiga 500 has to be cleaned or the disk is not the best condition, I don't know. But again, you can just get these. Oh, wait. There we go. Um, let's just mount the SD card. <laughs> now, don't ask me what the difference is in between this model and the mini model. I don't know, I just unboxed it. I have to go into, go into the uh, GitHub page. I'm gonna read about it. I'm gonna link it to you guys. 
so you can see everything you can build one of these it's 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 just beautiful it's so simple it's so plug and play it's so retro Django style I love everything plug and play put it in I mean when you have the uh, when you have your compact flash card inside you just you know copy this uh, mount SD card you can have it on your startup sequence or whatever you want to do so it's always on there we go man send this I mean so you can just turn your Amiga on and have this extra uh, flash drive so it's 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 swappable you don't have to open your Amiga no no oh, it's it's snappy it's fast it's nice it's beautiful it's a sinfo It's beautiful. I really love it. Wow! I'm running. I'm, this one has nothing, man. We were just starting up with the floppy drive, and it's this little SD box. I, I'm loving it, man. <laughs> Guys, I want. I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to build one of these, write it on the comments below. I mean, the, 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 this is beautiful. This is maybe one of the easiest way to get stuff into your compact flash card in your Amiga without disassembling nothing. It's just pure awesomeness all the way around. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to build it, share your thoughts, ideas with me. That's all in the Amiga community. Say thank you to Jan, Bilana again. Thank you, dear friend. I mean, thank you for making these incredible products for us Amiga users. We still love the Amiga and every time new stuff that's just plug and play, so easy, so simple, open source, everybody can get the files, how to build it. You're just making this and you're sharing with the Amiga world. This is just pure greatness. My comment is, what can I say? What I can say, the Amiga 500, an amazing computer. My special thanks goes to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm so thankful. I wish you all a great, great day out there. I'm going to play around with this SID SD box. I want to say SID because I just I also, love, also love the Commodore 64. But yeah, I'm going to play around with this, test it a bit. But man, I'm happy with this great product. Thank you, Jan. All you all have a great day out there. Bye.